Good evening, everybody. Welcome to our midweek refuel tonight here at Glory House for All Nations. I'm so excited that you have taken the time out of your schedules to join us tonight as we continue in our series for the month of April and May. Listen, we've this series has been so good, we've had to extend it even into the month of May. So we're just starting out in May and we did not change our series. We are staying on the topic of the Holy Spirit entitled Feel. Amen. Phil, it's been a powerful, powerful, powerful lesson, powerful teaching, and more of a powerful impartation of the Spirit of God, amen, for His people. And we've been preaching, excuse me, we've been teaching on the power of the Holy Spirit, amen, how to receive, amen, the benefits of the Holy Spirit. Tonight, I want to go in a little bit further, and I want to minister to you, those of you that are watching. Listen, but while, before we go in, uh, while you're coming in, I want you to let me know your name, where you're, where you're tuning in from tonight, and I want you to do me a favor. I want you to share this broadcast, uh, share with your friends and your followers. I'll take the time as well to share uh, with my friends, with my uh, family, uh, with the different pages that I'm connected to. And I want you to do the same because I believe it is very important that in this season, every believer understands the benefits that they have, amen, from being filled with the Holy Spirit. So take the time right now, share, share, share. Good evening, good evening, good to see you. I love you, good to see you, praise the Lord, amen, amen. Well, we're not going to be labor, we're not gonna be long tonight, but I want to stimulate your mind, stimulate your spirit, activate. I wanna preach, I wanna teach, I wanna minister on the Holy Spirit. So Father, tonight, I ask you, Lord, for your anointing. I ask you, Lord, for your presence and your spirit that would even rest upon this time of gathering and meeting tonight. Though we are meeting virtually, Father, we know that there is no distance, Lord God, in the realm of the spirit. And Father, we thank you tonight that you're going to begin to move, Lord God, that you're going to release fresh revelation, fresh manna from on high, so that somebody, Lord God, will be stirred in their inner man, their spirit man. We thank you, Lord God, for every word that will be said, even, Lord God, for the past teachings and words that have come forth, Lord God, from your people unto your people, Lord God, concerning the ministry of the Holy Ghost. We thank you, Lord God, that there has been a stirring, there has been an awareness, there has been an activation. In Jesus' name, amen. Do me a favor one more time and share the broadcast. I want to talk about, let's go, I don't necessarily have a topic tonight, but I want us to go over to the scripture, Joel chapter number two, and we're going to be looking at, we're going to bring our attention to Joel chapter number two, verse number 28 and 29. Joel chapter number two, verses 28 to 29, and it says, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and daughters shall prophesy, and your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions, and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids. In those days will I pour out my spirit. I want you to write this in the comments section. In these days. Now the scripture says in those days, but I prophetically tonight believe that we are in the days that God is pouring out his spirit upon all flesh. You know, there's been so many great moves of the spirit. Hence, we have the Pentecostal denomination of movement, the charismatic, the apostolic, the holiness, uh, the Methodist. Uh, and we have so many different movements, the Azusa Street, uh, my God, so many different outpourings of the Spirit. I believe that we're coming into another great move. We're coming into another moment in time, another moment in history where the Spirit of the Lord is being released like never before unto His people. And this is a prophetic word that came forth from the prophet Joel saying, and he's, he begins to prophetically decree, prophetically declare, that it shall come to pass, it shall come to pass. Amen, this is a, a declaration, this is a proclamation of something that will happen, that will take place. It shall come to pass that afterwards I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, my God today, all flesh. Amen, those that are hungry, those that are thirsty, those that are desperate, those that desire, to uh, commune with Christ, with God the Father on another level. Come on, somebody. Amen. The Holy Ghost gives you a direct connection 
a direct, he, the Holy Spirit is your direct source, amen, into the spirit realm, amen, connectivity to the Father. He says, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. So listen, he's saying the Holy Spirit is not gender-based. The Holy Spirit is for men, it's for women, it's for boys, it's for girls. Watch this. Your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. My God, there are benefits of, of having the Holy Spirit. Amen. Access to the Holy Spirit gives you benefits to so much more in the supernatural realm. And we see right here, it says, your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions my god today hallelujah there is supernatural activity that takes place amen around the spirit of the lord hallelujah and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days i will pour out my spirit we're in those days beloved tonight i want to begin to push and i want to begin to uh, bring the awareness that we're in a we're such in a pivotal season we're such in a pivotal moment within the body of Christ at large that God is reviving his people again he's breathing come on somebody the pneuma the spirit the life of God amen into the church into his people again we learned about that and I believe in week number one about the pneuma the study of the Holy Spirit those of you that are maybe this is your first time joining us during this series uh, the, the study of the Holy Spirit is associated with the term pneuma, which pneuma means spirit, pneumatology, tology means study of, pneumatology, we are in the pneumatology, amen, we're, we're studying the pneumatology, we're studying the, the theology, the revelation of the Spirit of God, amen, and one of the things that I have found people to become so uh, 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 theological in their approach and they miss the move. Amen. Though we're a Bible a preaching and teaching church and we believe, amen, in the foundational truths of the word of God. Amen. I believe that God not only wants us to uh, uh, be strong in our uh, theology and our doctrine, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We know that according to scripture, that apostles, we're defenders of the faith. We defend, amen, the doctrine that was laid. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. But I strongly believe that there is a marrying. There's a merging between uh, the revelation, the knowledge, the doctrine, the theology, amen, and the move of the Spirit. We are getting ready to come into one of the greatest moves of the Spirit that we have ever seen. But I believe that many of us, we first have to have an awareness. We need a revelation, amen. The light bulb needs to go off concerning, amen, Holy Spirit, my God. Oh, he's getting, we're in a Pentecost season, church. We're in a season, we're on the road to Pentecost. I believe it's 20 something more days that we're on our way, amen, to the day that we would uh, celebrate as the day of Pentecost. And we know that that day is very special. That on the day of Pentecost, my God, they were in one place, they were in one accord. Hallelujah. They were waiting on the promise, they were worshiping, they were praising, they were seeking. And suddenly, somebody shout, suddenly. There came a sound, hallelujah, of as of a rushing mighty wind. My God, the breath of God, the wind of God, the pneuma, the Spirit of the Lord began to move in that place like they've never seen it before. Hallelujah. We knew up until that point that the Spirit of the Lord had not dwelt in bodies, but the Spirit of the Lord will come upon. Hallelujah. The anointing will come to smear, would come to anoint, but the Holy Spirit now dwells in us. I'm reminded of the scripture that says, do you not know that your temple, that your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost? You house the presence of God. You house the anointing. You house the spirit of the Lord. And this is very important that we must understand that the spirit of the Lord, amen, his spirit is in us. And he wants to use you in a new way. He wants to use you in a very unusual way to demonstrate his kingdom, to release his glory, to, to show forth his signs, the power of God in the earth. And this is what the church, hallelujah, needs. This is what the church needs in this hour. The church needs more power. The church needs a demonstrative a flow. We need more demonstration. We need to begin to see more the flow of the Spirit. Hallelujah. And this is why if you, if you visit Glory House, if you visit Ghana on any given Sunday, you'll begin to see people delivered. You'll see people saying, you'll see, hallelujah, repentance take place. You'll begin to see the presence of the Almighty God 
take over and consume the service. Bodies are healed. Minds are regulated. Marriages are restored. You'll begin to see because this is the hour that we don't just need the kingdom and word, but we need the kingdom indeed. The apostle Paul said, I don't come to you with enticing words of men, but I come in the spirit's power. Listen, God wants to endow you with power. He wants to give you power. Hallelujah. He wants to give you power over sickness, over disease. Hallelujah. He wants to give you power over poverty. Come on, somebody. He wants to give you power. Hallelujah. To legislate, to govern, to speak a word. And it and it become it comes into manifestation and this is very important church he's pouring out his spirit and one of the things that I want to talk about today that if you are in pursuit or if you're in the, if you're in a visual uh, individual that you are in posture you're in position you're open to receive one of the things hallelujah that you want to make sure is that your barrels are clean we begin to teach and minister this previous Sunday praise the Lord about hallelujah making room for Holy Spirit in your life amen you want to make room for the Spirit of the Lord amen to have his way in your life and when you genuinely want the Holy Spirit to move in your life, there's certain there's some things that you're gonna have to give up. Praise the name of the Lord, somebody tonight. Amen. That that that, that is very important that you understand that you give up your own will, you give up your own desire, you give up your own motive, you give up your own uh, uh, ungodly ambition and 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 and, and treacherous uh, and untamed zeal. Come on, somebody, and you say, Holy Spirit. Spirit, I welcome you into my into this place, into my life, into my body. Have your way. But I want to let you know tonight that in order for that to happen, in order for the Holy Spirit to make a uh, residence to take, excuse me, to take residence in you, you have to understand that there's some things that you will have to give up. Amen. Amen. I, I said this on Sunday, and I want you to write this uh, particular uh, phrase in the comment section. That whenever the Holy Spirit comes in your life, he will come to replace something. The Holy Spirit will come to replace something. There are things in you, and this is why many times it is a struggle for the Holy Spirit to move in and through you, in and through us, even myself. Because oftentimes we allow things of bitterness, rejection, insecurity, lust, perversion, uh, 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 anger, unforgiveness. We allow things to, to take residence and we leave no room for the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. One of the things about Holy Spirit, He is a gentleman. He's not going to just invade. He's not going to just take over, but He wants to come somewhere. He wants to dwell somewhere that He's invited, that He feels welcome, that He feels at home. Hallelujah. And I want to encourage you tonight that if you want to be used by the Holy Spirit, you want to be used by God in this season for His kingdom and His power to be demonstrated through you. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. You have to understand, church. You have to understand. You have to understand that you have to make way. You have to make room for the Holy Spirit to come into your life and do what it is that he needs to do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And so we begin to talk about a term this past Sunday, a term that you don't really hear in the church much these days and we begin to talk about purging and we are deliverance church and, and and you know oftentimes I used to wonder why we would labor with individual on the altar to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit for so long and one of the things that clicked in my mind uh, in my spirit that the Holy Spirit made me aware of is that you can't force Holy Spirit to go into a house that is full that is full of other things and so you have to know and you have to understand people of God that if you want to be filled with God's spirit if you want to be filled with the Holy Spirit tonight or whatever whenever you're watching this if you're watching the replay hallelujah if you're watching this a, a, a year from now I want to make this plain to you that there are some things hallelujah that you're gonna to have to get rid of you're gonna to have to purge you're gonna ask the Lord to cleanse you to cleanse your barrel to cleanse your spirit to cleanse you uh, 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 your soul so that Holy Spirit can come into your life in a greater capacity hallelujah 
And so we begin to talk about the new wine. We begin to talk about the new wine of the spirit. We are in the days of a new wine move. There is a wine, there is a move of the spirit of God that we're going to begin to see. We're going to begin to see the new wine, a new era, a new flow, a new uh, 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 flow of the spirit of the Lord uh, in his people and in, in, in his church uh, like we've never seen before. But the Lord began to take me to Matthew chapter number two. Let's go there. Matthew 2 and 22. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Matthew 2. I think I'm at the wrong scripture, church. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Mark, excuse me. <laughs> I, was, I was like, my God, I'm in a whole nother place. Mark chapter number 2 and verse number 22. And no man put a new wine into old wineskin or old bottles. Else the new wine would burst the bottles and the wine would be spilled and the bottles will be marred. But the new wine must be put into new bottles. I want to read that in the NIV version. And no one pours new wine into old wine skin. Otherwise, the wine will burst the skins and both the wine and the wine skins will be ruined. No, they pour new wine into new wine skin. The new wine that God is pouring out, he's pouring it out into a new wine skin. Ah. Hallelujah. New wine skin. You can't you can't receive the Holy Spirit into an old uh, 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 an old place, an old space. Hallelujah. You have to change your position. You have to change the way, hallelujah, uh, uh, your, 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 your posture to receive from the Holy Spirit. And, and what God is doing in this season, we thank God for the previous moves in the in the early 2000s and the, in the late 1990s and, 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 and the moves of the spirit that have taken place all throughout history all throughout time but we're in a new dispensation we're in a new time and God is pouring out his spirit in a new way but he's pouring out the new wine it's a new wine but we can't put new wine into old wine skin and so in other words we have to begin to even change our uh, 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 uh. we have to change amen the way that we do things you know oftentimes you know we try to figure out why are we not getting uh, new results when we're really doing the same thing. God in this season is saying, be open to the new. Be open to how God is moving. You know, people come to Glory House and really, you know, we're a very unorthodox ministry. We're a very cutting edge ministry. We're, we're, we're very, we're, we're in the flow of God. We try to make sure that we're in tune with the flow and the move of God. And, and the thing is, if you're stuck in the old time way, in the old time religion, you may miss the poor. The, the poor. You may miss the new. You may miss what God is doing in this season. And I want to encourage many of you tonight, hallelujah, tonight miss to not miss the, the 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 pouring out to not miss the flow the dispersing the dispersing of the new wine of the spirit Lord in this season you know sometimes it's gonna look different sometimes God is gonna move differently but you gotta flow in the know we gotta get in the flow and we gotta move in the newness of God the newness of life because the thing is, the scripture tells us that the wine, if we try to put an old move, a, a, a new move in an old paradigm or an a, a, a old positioning or old wine skin, what will happen is the wine will be wasted and the, and, and the, and, 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 and the bottles, the wine skins will burst. That's what the scripture says. Ah, uh, but somebody ought to write in the comment section even now, no more wasted wine. 
the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. No more wasted moves of the Spirit. Come on, somebody. You know, there's oftentimes I've been in places where the Spirit of the Lord is moving, and the Spirit of the Lord wants to move in a greater capacity and a greater way. And what will oftentimes happen is that when He's moving in a different way, or He's moving uh, in an unusual way, or an a, a, a unparalleled way to ways that He has moved in, in times past, in times of old, people get stiff. They're like, oh my God, I'm not used to that I'm not used to that I'm not used to that and what will happen is the spirit the spirit the flow will come the move will come and we'll miss it if we don't get in the flow but you need to get I want to speak to you tonight I'm speaking to somebody tonight you need to get in the flow of the no you need to know the flow you need to know the flow of the spirit hallelujah you need to get in the flow in this season because he's doing a new thing. Behold, I do a new thing. Shall it spring forth? This next move is going to come forth suddenly. Even like the day of Pentecost. It's going to come forth suddenly. It's going to come from out of nowhere. It's going to come. But as long as we stay in position. Uh, as long as we stay in posture. Uh, as long we're, as we are open and ready. Uh, as long as we have, un, uh, we have undone those old things. Uh, we've gotten those things out of our spirit uh, that should not be there. I'm the, come on, we've come out of agreement with things uh, that has hindered the flow in our lives. Uh, it's going to come. Uh, it's going to come suddenly. Many of you are waiting uh, for a fresh outpour, a refilling. Many of you are waiting, waiting uh, to be endowed with the Spirit of the Lord, even like the disciples were uh, in Acts. Hallelujah. The, but the Bible says suddenly. Hallelujah. Ah, shabobosha. That suddenly there's going to be a, a move in the, of the spirit like we've never seen before. That, that suddenly, hallelujah, that he's going to begin to move in our churches. Those of you around the country, those of you uh, that are in other nations, get ready. Uh, get ready for a fresh outpouring. Uh, get ready for the new wine. Get ready uh, for a new dispensation of the spirit. Uh, for we have stepped into a new era, says the spirit of the Lord. Uh, for we have stepped into a new day. Uh, it's a new day right rising uh, where the glory of the Lord, uh, hallelujah, where shall be revealed uh, among the nations of the earth. Uh, get ready. Those of you, hallelujah, that are called to the ministry, those of you uh, that are served in the in, in whatever capacity, uh, get ready. Uh, don't get so consumed. Uh, hallelujah. Don't stop, stop trying to be so animal. Stop trying to be so, uh, uh, so perfect. You know, one of the things that I, I and I'm gonna I'm drop this nugget. One of the things that that will hinder a move of God. Well, we're trying to we're trying to uh, have so much order that we leave we leave no space for Holy Spirit. Hallelujah! I believe in order. I believe that apostles and apostolic ministries uh, should have order, should have structure. Glory to God! But there should never be so much order. There should never be so much uh, 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 regiment that there's no room for the Holy Spirit to move. I know there's churches that that have have time services, uh, but at least give space, uh, be open for the Spirit of the Lord to move. Come on, somebody, stop coming to church rushing for the for, for the service to be over. But listen, in this season, you got to be hungry. In this season, you got to eagerly expect. You, hallelujah, you have to eagerly desire, desire what the Spirit has to offer. Desire what heaven wants to release in your life. He wants to release a fresh wind. He wants to release a fresh deposit. Uh, in this season, a fresh download of the Spirit of the Lord. Somebody say, yes, Lord. Oh, shake. Somebody say, Yes, Lord. New. He's pouring out a new, a new, a new, a newness, a newness in the spirit. That's what I feel tonight. I, I, I want to encourage you to go after the flow. Go after the more of God. Go after the spirit of God. The spirit of the Lord even is, wants to invade many of you. Many of you that have been tuning in. Many of you that are, have been in the services and you felt it. Uh, and you're like, God, I want to receive it in its fullness. Uh, I pray tonight. I decree. I prophesy tonight. Uh, that not many days from now uh, you will receive the fullness. You will receive the fullness of the Spirit. Ah, it's coming. 
It's coming like never before, church. It's going to be unusual. It's going to be unprecedented. It's going to be, hallelujah, it's going to it's going to it's going to come in such a way that we're going to try to figure out how to facilitate it. Ah, but I hear the spirit of the Lord say, sons and daughters, make way, make room for what's getting ready to happen. Oh, shorobo shelebe si brandala asata. Because he's pouring out the new wine. We're in a new dispensation. And I want to bring your awareness. I want you to know to be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. They waited for 50 days. 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 They waited for 50 days for the Spirit of the Lord to move. They waited for 50 days for the Spirit of the Lord to move. They waited for 50 days for the promise. 50 days for the promise. 50 days for the promise. Hallelujah. Glory. You get ready. You get ready, church. You get ready to receive exactly what it is that God has in store for you. All you have to do is be open. Be ready to receive. Empty out. Purge out. Come on. Clean out your house. Let some things. You know, the Holy Spirit, he don't want to share a space. Come on. He don't want a roommate. He wants to be the only thing that dwells in you. Ah, come on. Hallelujah. He doesn't want to have to share. He doesn't want to have to share your space. He doesn't want to have to share your temple with anything else. There's some things we're going to have to let go. Some rejection. Some insecurity. And some things don't, don't call for you vomiting and, 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 and things of that nature. And we, we use the term purge. Release. Come on, somebody. Sometimes we make things harder than what they really are. But you get ready, church. It's getting ready to be unusual. It's getting ready to be powerful. And I want you to know, in the days, in the days to come, there's going to be a fresh flow. There's going to be a fresh deposit. Even those of you that have said, you may be saying, Bishop, I've been filled. I've had the Holy Spirit. I've, I've received the Holy Spirit over 10 years ago, over 20 years ago. It's been five years. But there's a freshness. Woo! There's a freshness of the Spirit that he's releasing. There's a freshness of the Spirit that he's releasing. There's a freshness of the Spirit that he's releasing. There's a freshness that he's releasing. Father, we thank you today. We thank you, Lord God, for the fresh outpour, the fresh deposit, the new wine of the Spirit. We thank you, Lord, that these are those days, the days of great awakening, the days of great activation. Ah, the days, whoo, with the Spirit of the Lord. Ah, we'll have presidents over our programs. The Spirit of the Lord will have free presidents over everything. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That we try to put together in our own accord, in our own might, in our own strength, in our own power. So I say, Lord, here I am. Have your way in me, God. Have your way in me, Lord. Holy Spirit, come now. Holy Spirit of God, move. Holy Spirit of God, move like never before. We're waiting. We're in great expectation of a sudden shift, of a sudden move, of a sudden deposit. That will take place. Come on, lift your hands wherever you are. Lord, we receive. We receive. We receive. We receive today. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You get ready, saints. We are in those days. The days that was prophesied by the prophet Joel. He said, and it shall come to pass afterwards. That I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. And your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids. In those days will I pour out my spirit. Father, we thank you tonight. Lord God, that you're pouring out your spirit like never before. We say that we're open. We say purge us, empty us. Remove whatever it is that is trying to take precedence over Holy Spirit. That has not left any room for Holy Spirit to dwell. Because our bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. We thank you today for the revelation to receive, to be open, and that at any moment you're moving a sudden, a sudden, a sudden moment. It's going to be suddenly. We thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. People of God, listen, I pray that you are blessed tonight. You stay along with us. 
We're going into month number two that we're ministering on the Holy Spirit, its benefits, why we need him in our life, how to receive him. It's, it's nothing scary. It's nothing, you know, uh, it, it's, you know, people have made the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost to, to be scary, to be spooky. The Holy Spirit is it's a benefit. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. It is a benefit to the believers. It's our inheritance. Come on, somebody. It's, it's the inheritance of the saints that we receive. The new wine of the Spirit of the Lord. Listen, if you've been blessed, give me some hearts. Give me some, th some thumbs ups. I want you to go ahead and share if you have not already. If you're just tuning in, we want you to go back. and want to encourage you to go back and watch the replay. Amen. And even go back to Sunday and the previous weeks. Amen. And to learn. We're, we're teaching and ministering. And we're going to continue. Amen. Because we want to flow in the know. We want to stay in the flow of the Spirit of God. Listen, tonight I want you to sow. I want you to sow a seed. You can see the ways to give at the bottom of the screen there. We want you to give tonight. We want you to sow on this word. Amen. I'm going to start, amen, this offering off tonight. Amen. With $20, a $20 seed. I believe that every time that you receive a deposit, every time that you would come into the presence of the Lord, that we should come, amen, bearing a seed, a sacrificial seed. Oftentimes, our seeds are sacrificial, especially if you're led by the Spirit on what to give. Amen. We want you to give. If this word blessed you, if you learned something, if you received something, praise the name of the Lord. If you're ready to receive, put a, put a, you ought to just put a seed because you have on your, where the level of your expectation is. Your level of belief. If you believe this word, if you believe that we're in these days, if you believe that we're in the day that Joel prophesied, if you believe that we're in a time of great awakening of the new wine, if you believe it, I want you to sow a seed tonight. We want to thank you all for joining our midweek refuel. Listen. We hope to see you this Saturday. Amen. It'll be my consecration. Amen. As bishop and apostle in the Lord's church. And those of you that are members of the Glory House, I pray that you're all there. Amen. Showing your support. Amen. Of your man of God and your church. And as well, this Sunday is Mother's Day. Amen. We're going to be celebrating and honoring all the mothers. And we have a few special treats that we're going to be doing on that day. So we want you to be here. Amen. Be in the service. Bring somebody. Bring your mother. Bring your aunt. Your cousin, your God, mom, whoever. Amen. I want you to be here. Amen. As we celebrate. Amen. Jesus. Amen. And we're waiting as we're on the road to Pentecost. Amen. For a supernatural outbreak and outpour of the spirit of the Lord. Until next time, friends, we love you and God bless.